hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to use tree view with your C sharp application and I have shown you how to add nodes so when I click this button it adds node and sub nodes and how to remove nodes so for example I select these two nodes and I want to remove them I select them and I press this and the nodes are removed in this video I will show you how to show directory structure which is present in your computer in your tree view so for example I have a folder in my uh, in my computer and I want to show that folder in this tree view structure so how can I show that I will show you today so let's get started I will take a button to add the directory structure of a folder and I will change its text as show folder so I have changed the text of my button show folder and now I double click it and in here I will write the code for opening the folder structure but, be but before that I will make some uh, method to call into this button click event okay so first of all go at the top and if you don't have uh, this using sorry using system dot io if you don't have this namespace thus just add this at the top of your code and now we are ready to write our function so just bef below your button click event for the directory structure open just make a new function called this function so write private static tree node and give it the function name in my case create directory node and in this I'm passing the directory info variable so the variable name is directory info okay and in here I will write the code so make this function first and in here in between first of all we will return this directory node this one so I will write return and return this okay not this but okay we will return later so first of all what we will do is we will declare a var variable which is called directory node so write var directory node is equal to new tree node and in the bracket pass this directory info variable dot name okay now in the next line we will write for each loop like this so write for each and in the bracket write where directory in directory info which is this variable dot get directory bracket and bracket closed and inside the for each loop write directory node which is this variable dot nodes dot add and in the bracket write create directory node which is this function itself okay so it's the same name as this and then in the argument just pass directory which is this var variable okay and bracket and bracket close now we will make one more for each loop so write this for each loop after this for each loop so write 
for each and in the bracket pass var file in directory info once again this variable dot get files and in in the for each loop pass this directory node dot nodes dot add new tree node and inside this pass this file variable dot names okay so just remember this and this are the same name and now we will return this directory node so right return not here but here this was here by mistake I deleted it so just copy this variable and return at the bottom okay so we made this function called create directory node we will make one more function just above this function to give the path and the tree view name so just give your function a name like this private void list directory so this will list the di directory in your tree view and pass here the tree view so it will take a tree view name and it will take the path of the directory okay so after this just close this function and inside this function we will pass first of all we will clear our tree view so write tree view which is this variable dot nodes dot clear okay now in the second line write this line so declare a var variable and name it as root directory info is equal to new directory info and pass this path variable inside this directory info function okay and in the next line write uh, this so copy this tree view variable here dot nodes dot add and in the bracket pass directory create directory node which is this function okay so we created this function earlier just copy this function and paste it here and inside this uh, argument for this function we will pass this directory info root directory info variable which takes the path of the directory okay so we made two function one is create directory node which is like this and the other function which is list directory which is like this now in your button here we will call this list directory function okay just copy this list directory paste it here and inside this bracket we will pass the name of the tree view so our tree view name is tree view one just go to the property and copy the name and once again go here and as the argument for this list directory pass this tree view one name comma we will pass the path of the directory we want to show okay so for example I have one directory called HTML CSS so I will copy the directory path and I will pass it here okay and I will give double slashes instead of single here as a path so I have given the name of my dri directory structure and I have given the path whose directory structure I want to show now when I run the program and when I click this button it should show me the directory structure so I will click it it shows me the folder the same folder which I have here HTML CSS right and this also has HTML CSS and when I click this plus sign it shows me all the file which is inside this folder 
so first is audio and video file so this is audio and video file with HTML second is box model CSS dot AVI this is box model CSS dot AVI so all the files which are present in the same folder will be represented here in your tree view okay suppose it contain my tree view also contains a folder let's create a folder new folder inside my this html.c folder new and for example i have i i insert some new file inside this folder my sql file for example and now when i refresh this once again and i can see this new folder inside my html folder css folder and inside this i have this mysql png which i have created so you can show any folder or folder structure inside your tree view like this in the next video i will show you how to open these files by selecting and clicking these files so whatever directory structure you have when you click select these file you it will open directly from this tree view structure so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now